So here we are in a flashback in his uh, cheval. And uh, he's uh, apologizing to Uther for Wayne being garbage. And uh, Wayne had a humiliating loss to Gerard. And, but Uther is uh, used to such things from Wayne. And uh, Gerard here, with no scars, sans scars, uh, says that uh, Wayne's pride reminds him uh, a lot of uh, Cheval in his younger days. And even, uh, yeah, there's Marguerite going, <laughs> doing a little giggle. And then, Marguerite! From Cheval. How dare you? And then Uther's like, alright, enough, enough, alright. And he tells uh, Shuval to let uh, Wayne off with a uh, slap on the wrist and being told to concentrate harder in the future. And then Wayne runs in and he's like, yo everybody, it's like, Wayne, you're in the presence of the king. He's like, I'm just like, holy shit, there is a friggin' huge quake enveloping the entire northern uh, hemisphere. And yeah, that's a glitch in the the thing. And here's Uther Wah! waking up. He has a recurring dream, and it was uh, and it hug and it's of the very day that forces from another dimension destroyed in Salam. And Braun uh, calls into his bedchamber to tell him that today is the day of Insalam's first step into their new world. And he's got to get his shit together. And he's like, hmm, it will also be the first step out of the old world. So, Crow's back and he hates it. <laughs> but he's back. Uh, he's trying to try to uh, talk about his latest bullshit. And here's that she secured all the loans needed to pay off the townsfolk. Um, uh, but it wasn't Zenatori that paid up the money. It was Carlos. There he is. He's like, howdy. He's like, but this guy. He's like, and that's right, dude. Well, you have a talent for losing money. I can be a millionaire anytime I want. It's easy. Dead big serious. And Crow's like, oh jeez, I wish I'd got rid of him when I had the chance. It's like this is unbelievable, this isn't fair. Um but if he'd uh, been with Zenitori, Zenitori had a lot of shady military contact contracts and who knows he could have ended up in a firebug type situation again. But He's like, fine. He's like, all right, I'll go with Carlos then. Um, but try and convert his combat data into money, and uh, Crow is now in the ideal place to get into fights all the time. Yeah, Carlos, karma magician, just fucking bullshit. And here comes old Lock on. And he drops a penny, and Crow's like, shit. Give me that shit. Give me that money. Give me that money. But uh, Crow has just seamlessly got used to the whole lock-on number two, and uh, he, expects, he expects good things from uh, the guy. Not because uh, of his genetics, but because of whatever um, determination made him take up uh, the name. And uh, he's like, you had to know that everybody would compare you uh, to the original, and you did it anyway. And Crow respects that. And uh, if nothing else, he and New Lock-On have uh, a lot of love for the original in common. And then alarmed bells. <laughs> Zexis, all units in Salama doing some shit. They've just invaded he did North America and installed a giant thing. Look at it. This fucking weird big thing. So here's Uther in Salam, announcing himself as Uther in Salam. Um, the prince in charge of the Holy in Salam Empire. And he declares that his people are about to colonize this parallel earth. And if the earth can surrender, brilliant. If not, 
then you will be destroyed. Um, and uh, this zone thing is just something that his people have uh, installed, and he hopes that the Earthlings aren't so stupid as to try and object to them putting this thing in. And then we're like, what the heck? What the heck? That, mm, I don't like that. Mm -mm, I don't like the look of that. That's weird. Oh, it's glowing. Weird. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, the Ark Sabers were pretty rough to deal with, uh, but now they got all this weird shit. Uh, the Federation Army is just keeping a, a close eye on it, which is basically just saying they ain't doing shit and they're scared. Um. Uh, Oz is asking Alors for help, but Alors are just like, no, we're peacekeeping only. We're not gonna do a war with those people. So that's us then. So everyone's gonna head to the robots and get ready. Here's Michelle. I need, I need Michelle. Oh shit, the lock on there is. Um, so everyone's getting ready, but Michelle uh, still doesn't trust new lock on. And everybody's like, yeah, I don't care if everyone's your friend. Yeah. And Setsuko's worried too, because uh, she's got an inkling as to what the zone is. And if she's right, she knows we got to hurry. And this is... Scenario 16, Heart of the Dimension. So apparently it's in Sacramento. Um, so Amber wants to take charge of military operations, and she sent uh, everybody else out to deal with adversaries on the perimeter, uh, including the Gerard and Wayne. They're even out, uh, which just leaves Marguerite to hold the fort with Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn uh, says that she sees uh, Marguerite as an older sister figure, um, partly because the Pearl Nail is the old sister to the um, Black Pearl, but. Marguerite just ignores her. <laughs> Maru and Mari! You can be Maru Maru and I'll be Mari Mari! Just ignore her, no? Just doesn't give a shit. And, uh, Ambron says that everything is just gonna be just fine! But Marguerite is worried that all of Ambron's dimensional science might not be enough to stop Zexis. Did you say we're in Sacramento? Yeah! It's got this shit in it now. But here we are. Flammo. I just gotta do some quick upgrading, because I wasn't fucking finished. <laughs> when the, the nonsense just happened, when I accidentally clicked it too far. She needs two more! That's fucking bullshit. I think he wants support attack or support defend. Give him support attack. Saving up for terrain changes because his reward for him sucks. Oh my god, they're all so close. To being able to have a good time. And tuna buns that we got from Shiny.
sexist. You shoot him out. It's like, no, it's okay, your highness, he's gone. So, uh, Amron tells uh, Uther to launch everybody, and he does. I'm like, with these frickers. And the like, okay, so what's the zone actually doing then? Yeah, he's like, nothing, just sort of sitting there. But we've done this long enough that we're expecting something to happen. And. Oh, what's up, Chris? Like, I got a real bad feeling about this. And Chris, like, uh, really? So I'm not getting anything. And just goes, oh, okay, Crow hasn't awoken his uh, sphere just yet. But she just tells everyone to hurry. Uh, Zero then says, Uther, it's alarm. I have a question before we beat you up. Uh, what he says, uh, with Zexus, uh, do you really intend to fight, seeing before you Earth's finest and mightiest guardians? He's like, uh, buh. And Ambron says, Your Highness, there's no turning back now. And uh, Uther declares as the Emperor of Insalam that every word from his mouth is truth. And the truth is that the Earthlings are going down. It's like, wow, he doesn't seem to be so good at the strategy. He just sort of threw out his dudes. But they're excited and eager. And he casts some bullshit. Now he's gotta go. Super Robots are truly deserving of the title. Got goggles on all this shit. Most it. Bonk. So This is Mazinga. Wow. 
Bum, bum. You can't stop as the Zeta. That dude definitely can't stop the Zeta. He's toast. They built an aim summoning machine. I just fucking, I'd give up now. No, like, nah, fuck, fuck, nope, I'm done. I'm out. Bye. You can have this shitty planet. I don't want it. You got an aim summoning machine. When it comes to fighting the uh, dimensional beasts, I'm all set. That's what Gim popped aim, stole his sphere, pissed off. Like, that was the last anybody saw of him. Mm -hmm. 
So Uther Dai Ambron, we're losing! She's like, we're not even close to mastering the dimensional science yet. But we can't have another fall of Insalam again. So she tells his highness to get out there in his uh, big stupid shit robot. And out he goes. There's the pearl nail, Marguerite. Not saying shit. M Marguerite. She is a knight of Insalam and Arcsaber. She will do her duty to protect the king. It's like, damn, so she's going to stick to that Arcsaber thing, huh? Now Uther will show us his power. So his robot's full name is, uh... The Seoki, the Insa. Seoki, the Insa. Which is like, uh, heavenly... Uh, no, it's like, holy... It's holy something king. Uh, the Insa. And Marguerite's not going to talk to us, we're like, damn, this is our chance to get rid of that shitty king, man. She's like, I'm uh, friggin' the... Uh... Yeah, Arcsaber number seven, Marguerite Pistal. You know, I will defeat you, Zexis, I will defend my lord, and then... Uh, da -da 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 -da, um... Uh, yeah, and Crow tells Esther that they got no choice but to fight, and he's uh, and now he's like, oh, he's trying to feel some kind of weight on his chest, as though something really, really bad's about to happen. Okay, and here's our SR point. See this dude? Uh, we have to do 4,500 damage to this man. We get one attack, and then he leaves. Uh, it's double large, it's big, it's really big. It's, it's really big. Call the black. But we'll do it out in a second. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Seoki is Holy King Machine. Uh, the Insa. But its full name is Seoki, which is Holy King Machine, the Insarius Arclinus. And he is the Seo, which is the Holy King of Insalam. It's the Holy Empire. So, he's pretty fucking mad, dude. Things considered. <laughs> He's just really fucking slow because he's stuck on a building. Yeah, it, 
just fucking Raro Sphinx, whichever one he is, just sitting there like, I hit him with the head, and now, I'm over here, I'm watching. I'm the laser supervisor. Oh, good, thanks for learning fucking mercy, piece of shit. Defend everything for the sake of the future. I spell him for Uthismic. Type here. There's my very this is back. Mission is just gotta bop everybody. And yes, our point is deal 4,500 damage to Uther's mech. But you only get one attack to do it. If you just learned the Hoot and Holler. shot that man as far as I know at this point. Just don't have the valor soul to get it done. Like even doing 4500 is pretty rough. Enemies will fall. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, there's no way we're doing 51,000. Kill this dude. Marguerite, you really gonna do this? He's like, yep, I will. I've gotta do my shield. He's like, all right, then. Well, if that's how it's gonna be. He's like, I'm a, I am an arc saber. I was like, well, see, it's gonna be like this then. He's gonna go all out, he respects her that much. Formation shotgun. <laughs> he just fucking spins away, just ring out oh, Beyblade. He's on now, he's more than a match. What's wrong, Marguerite? I'm right here. And then you rocket jump off the classic. There's a big boat. Get you on control, no problem. That is fucking dead. You gotta get on there. Because you gotta fight Marguerite. I need to know your opinion on, on Marguerite, on the business of Marguerite. Anything was like, what freaking what you're doing? Like, I will fight for the Holy Empire, the freaking Ark Saber or whatever, stupid night lady. <laughs> Poor Esther. Esther's an original character. They made her up for 
This is a game. Time for Marguerite to ultra dunk on Esther because she's good. Yeah, Marguerite and Crow, so. And Marilyn and Lisa. <laughs> I still can't believe I still wanted to be a cat fairy. I don't even know what that is. I don't think she knows either. She just wanted to add the dance. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that they came up with the really weird thing. Like they could have just not explained it at all. It could have just have been a thing she did. So she said she wanted to be a cat fairy, and three characters were like, uh, well, what? Oh, 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 what? What's a cat fairy? Like they drew attention to the fact that it's. Just Something she fucking made up. The M radar, which is plus range, I believe, and maybe A adapter for weapon. Duh. It's like, Marguerite, you really gonna do this? She's like, I'm Arc Saver. And she's like, oh, geez, it's gonna be like that again. Crow, Marguerite's like, it's okay, she'll come around in the end, or she won't. I'm like, whatever. I think that's the point, Rose, of him, that Esther's childish. Like, it's fitting with their characterization that she's a fucking idiot. The fact that other people in her universe also don't know what the fuck she was talking about says a lot. And that they don't exist. I'm not sure what your issue is with this one, to be honest. Like, they made a point of having the other characters be like, What are you fucking talking about? And then, um, and then she said that was a uh, black history, which is an important big thing. Like the black history is an actual thing, and uh, comparing, she wanted to be a cat fairy when she was younger. Like, oh, I, when I was a kid, I wanted to do something stupid. To what the black history is, is like, wow. All right, Esther. No, they won. But I get it, you'll be instantly. It's fine. Black history sounds really wrong? Wow. But you hate February.
相手は次元人ためらいは捨てる GS コーバットアクションの全てをダークシーザーズロープログルゴラに捧げる OK You are always there to think of Black History Month, right? Just completely unrelated to anything. Everything right? Oh, no, it's the shit dude over here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's only the big boy and that one, we'll get Aquarian to do the, the nonsense. He's our biggest, baddest man. Silky, the uh, Insarius uh, Arclinus. With this power, I can... I can do this. But he, I suppose he can, he sucks. Yeah, like he straight up just doesn't do it, he just sits there like, no, I'm big and tough. He's double large as well. Got him. <laughs> 
So, your highness, please, it's like, wait, my great, don't tell him to leave, like, I'm broad, I'm out, this sucks. And he just gets back in the boat. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, so, he gets in, um, that's it, Marilyn's like, wow, he sort of, just, that thing wasn't just a big in the end. And when he's like, your highness, right, pump, but it's my turn. So, we're dimensional beasts, what the heck? And Ambrawn announces and calls these things. Uh, yeah, so he first introduces herself, uh, Ambra Ambrawn Jus. No, Ambrawn Jus? Jus? It's not exactly Ambrawn, just Ambrawn. Head science lady, big on dimensional science. Uh, this is the zone, she invented that. <laughs> uh, she also has made these dimensional beasts. They are artificial dimensional beasts. And she calls them A-Daemons. The easiest explanation of her dimensional science, science for idiots like us. And, uh... And the product of some selective breeding program that she's done. And she's hella pleased with herself and that. And she basically says, The former countrymen can't be returned to people anyway, so let's put them to good use at least. And she's a real shithead. And she's bad. But yeah, the A-Daemon, the A -daemon, the, well, the R-Daemon, but A-Daemon, artificial daemon. And so she leaves, and she's like, oh, I guess she's named herself Regent of the thing, whatever. I guess she's got a lot of pull if she's going to go around calling herself that. And then Rakshada says, I'm not going to comment on her scientific prowess just yet, but I don't like her old hag act. It's okay, Crow, we got to get these. Ambron, you're a real shithead. Let's have a look at these things. Jinzo Adamon, yeah, artificial. So, there you go. Sucks. It's big. It's rude. Meteor drop by Dimension Drive. Look at it, it's awful. Dinosaur one and a rhino one. How the fuck? That's just all fucked up then, but check this shit, it goes to a fucking dimension. state and then change the red ring and see if it does it right. Valios is freaking invincible. I 
今こそ僕火花き人たちの牙となってみせるお前一人だけじゃないぜトガ俺たちもだソルグラビオ大地に光を悪にを正義をしてみろチョージーケースーパーグラウディソード That buddy. Gen. Get some what? Just under two k. Sure. down. She's got a lot of goes to go. Just cast fucking soul. So, zero no tenami high can to go, can eh? Either she did only call you cool. A conscious cock son hold on to you. If you don't control, don't you? So, you are saying, you know. Yeah, he he casts all. Dimensional beast sucks, sabers all. Done, and now we gotta know what the friggin' zone does. It's 
So Setsuko comes over and he's doing stuff. Zones out putting some weird energy. What the hell is it doing? Uh, it's turning everything into sand. This is everything around it. She's turning it into sand. And by sand, she means dead sand, as in opposed to like not like regular sand. But it's sucking like all energy from all matter nearby, like everything, and like capital L life. So this shithead shows up. He's like, how do you say it's gone? I can't see. I said, give him down. He's like, I said, give him what's the friggin' zone, what's the zone doing? And he's like, it's draining, you know, like the power to exist, origin law, the original power, the great ultimate, Taiji, you know, like all the stuff that, like, makes stuff be. Like, dimensional power. And uh, it turns out the, the zone, uh, it's a big ass lens. Uh, it's, you know, you know that dimensional energy crystal stuff that would make stuff really power? It's just a huge one of those. And, uh, Asakim just goes, these guys, uh, the devil didn't dabbled in some real taboo stuff that they should not have touched. And, uh, they had no idea what they were doing, did they? And unfortunately, uh, yeah, so Zero's like, smash it, burn it all down. And he shoots it a bit. And, uh, nothing. And then Asakim explains, uh, hopefully, that his physical form is in another dimension, so physical attacks from this one don't work. And with a DEC uh, that large, uh, a good quarter of the continent could become fucking dead ass sand. So Asakim says, uh, he's like, Setsuko. He's like, I see you still hate me, but I think you seem to have an idea how to stop it. No, you sorrowful maiden. And she's like, says, "God, you're talking about." It's like, bro, got a long history with this dude from Zooth. He's a real shithead. But when he's right, he's right. And she says that she's a fellow sphere bearer. And uh, ask him says the fact that Crow didn't realise that she was the sorrowful maiden is proof of how far he is from like mastering his sphere at all. And yeah, why don't you ask the sorrowful maiden what she's gonna do? So Setsuko is going to get in, and she's going to use the the Vagola Glory, uh, the Sphere, the power of the Sphere, and the Vagola Glory, uh, to feed the zone dimensional energy constantly. Yeah, so she's just going to feed it constant dimensional energy from her Sphere, so it can't drain any, so it won't drain anything else. And it's like, so what's that going to do to you? And she's like, no idea, but probably you know, sad because. She said to go. Um, and Crow's like, I'll do it. And Asuka's like, You can't, dude. Kisama. He's like, You can't, dude. You're too immature as a sphere bearer. And everyone else is like, No, don't do it. And Siska's like, I got her. Why, well, there's still time. So everyone's yelling, Said to go. And she's like, Let's go. We go to the glory. This is it, Chief Toby. And, well... She's in it, and not dead! But, this is what's left of, uh... Sacramento now, just uh, fucking dust and rocks. Uh, yeah, everything has been reduced to dust. Even uh, the steel skeleton of uh, skyscrapers is just, it's dust. Uh, the inside arm fleet has fled off to another dimension, and until we can beat them up and get them to turn the zone off, Setsuko is going to be in the big egg. And Asakim pissed off too, because he's a shithead. After it was like, haha, yeah, she's trapped in it. Eat it. And he just left. And everyone's mad as hell. Crows is like, let's go, Esther, we gotta go. She's like, it's a ghost in the thing, though. He's like, yep, I know, we gotta leave her behind for now. And he says that we underestimated in Salam. So, uh, like, we were so sure that Zexus beat Gaio, beat 
in Salam, like, meant that we were going to win. But we didn't expect the zone thing, the artificial dimensional beasts, their, like, crazy arc saber uh, power-up thing. We need to regroup and rebuild. And uh, we had to head uh, to the Japanese exiles in China for the strategizing and... Uh, Crow's gonna try and figure out like why he's shitty at a sphere and what's up with that. And when he sees Askim next, he's got a lot to talk to him about. And Tieria has just witnessed another sacrifice for the greater good. It's seeing Setsuka Hara do it now. And he vows to do the same with as much grace if the time comes. And then uh, Regina shows up. And he's like, howdy, fella. He's like, what the heck? Dude, you look just like me. What's up with that? He's like, yeah, we got the same DNA. What? The D yeah. Um, the pattern 0988 type. Innovator. And they got brainwave communication, nanomachine moderated agent um, delay. All sorts of shit that you need for Eolia Schoenberg's master plan. That Thierry didn't know that his comrades exist or the powers that he's got indicate that the Meister's access to Vader has been limited, so Regina's gonna fill in the ranks for him. Step 1 Celestial Beings' military intervention leads to world unity. Step 2 Aloys unifies mankind's collective will. And step 3 Mankind ventures to outer space to prepare for the upcoming dialogue. And the innovators are a new strain of humanity, suited to life in space, and groomed to be at the vanguard of uh, the audio you foresaw. I mean, that sounds like not so good to me. It sounds like bad to me, actually. Meanwhile, at the bullshit ship, Gerard and Wayne have got back from their forts and they crushed the Earth forces because they can't, they can't deal. Wayne isn't happy though, victory on the flank means nothing if the centre folds and... The zone didn't fucking wreck everything, so you know. And uh, yeah, and he says, "Don't give me bullshit like temporary suspension of operational capability. It's done. It's over." And uh, Gerard then says that Ambron has uh, another zone or two uh, ready. And then Wayne says, "Yeah, but get this. Uther's not ready to go out to battle yet." And yeah, he's like, our, our king isn't. It? And Joe's like, wait! Slap. Big slap. He's like, what the heck? And he tells him to consider that punch, uh, the punch of his master, Cheval. And off he goes. And then. Wait, he's just like, damn it! Damn it! He's mad as heck. 